Hello and welcome to this week's Power BI tutorial from Bilingual Analytics. My name is Rowan and I would like to share with you a quick tip that can guide your users on what's available on the dashboard, how to use those elements and what sort of interactions are expected from them. In short, this technique can help you embed a video tutorial into your beautiful and more importantly, insightful one-pager dashboards. But why is this good for you, the report creator? Think about the number of times people come to you and ask a quick question about the report. Things like, where can I find the monthly sales growth chart? Or how are we tracking compared to our plan? Or where can I find more details for that visual? While training users on how to use the report, what's available for them, is a critical step to success, you might not have the time to run one-on-one -on -one sessions all day. We need to find a way to eliminate the need of answering these relatively simple questions that many of our users are going to ask and find the delivery method that is on demand. Just how we need to eliminate these short segues of me reminding you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. It helps a lot to spread the word about these topics. With that said, let's head over to Bilingual Analytics dashboard so I can show you how to embed a neat video tutorial. First of all, let me remind you that I'm going to talk about Power BI dashboards, not Power BI reports today. If you are unsure what's the difference between these two, I'll leave some links in the video description below so you can learn about them. Here we are on Bilingual Analytics dashboard where I have five tiles or five elements. For this demo, I use different visuals from a single report, but your dashboard may contain pinned elements from multiple reports. I also added a custom theme with a background image, just to make sure that it reflects Bilingual Analytics design pattern. I must admit, it took me a painfully long time to adjust this. As a Power BI report creator, I'm not a huge fan of dashboards, because they are not that easy to build. These tiles have fixed width and heights, meaning that they start from a single one by one element and we can only increase the size by a fixed number of pixels. Let me show you what I mean by that. Also, in a sense, a dashboard is responsive. So if you plan to use a dashboard in full screen mode, you have to adjust the background image to suit that size, resolution, and so on. But that's beside today's point. As I mentioned, there are five different visuals, each telling a different story and requires different explanations on how to read them and what happens if users click on them. I want to add the video here to this blank space that I recorded previously. Let's see what can be done to achieve this. Click on edit, add a tile and select video on the right side. There is a video URL section, so all I need to do is copy paste the YouTube link. Once it's there, you can see the preview or thumbnail of the video is showing. I use the YouTube link because Bilingual Analytics IT department and security policies allows uploading videos to YouTube, but you might not be able to do that. If that's the case, don't worry, you can embed any other type of video using the HTML language. Let's say if you upload a video to OneDrive or to a SharePoint site. It's nothing more than an iframe code. Of course, if you are unsure about how to do that, just search for iframe and you will find heaps of great materials. Back to our dashboard. Let's adjust the size of the tile so it's aesthetically more pleasing. And that's all. The next time our users are unsure about how to use this dashboard, they can just click on the play button and the video will provide a better explanation of what these styles are for, how to interpret them and what happens when they click on them. Hello team and welcome to Bilingual Analytics Dashboard. Let's start by exploring what's available for you on this page. At the top right corner, we have a monthly sales comparison visual where you can find last year's monthly sales with this year's monthly sales and the monthly growth percentages. This visual can help you to see monthly trends, guide you on your product or customer portfolio's current results. As this element is updated daily, you can even present this during one of your one-on-one -on -one meetings with your supervisor. If you click on the visual, you will always be able to see more details on sales and slice and dice the sales data by different parameters. The second element on this page, right next to me, is all about flagging the sales we have lost by country 
I'm not sure about you, but I really like these tricks and tips. It is relatively easy to create something like this, but it has the potential to provide a much better user experience, especially for those who just started their journey with Power BI. And a short video about the dashboard elements can save you lots of calls and chats, and as a result of that, save you from lots of headaches. I'm keen to hear if you have used this technique before, so feel free to comment below. If you haven't, and your users ask for more guidance on how to use Power BI, would you consider implementing something like this? Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video, and you will be able to implement this for your dashboard. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one of the above videos. Until the next one, see ya!